Hey everyone, it's Allison at Determined to Shine and welcome, welcome, welcome. I am super excited because I have fresh in my hands from the post office or from the mailbox in my driveway rather, the Inked Goddess Creations box for February 2021. This is one of my favorite subscriptions that I pay for and receive every month. I love it so much. And I unboxed it live last month, so I wanted to do that again. So I'm going to dive right in. Quick things to know before I open the box. If you check the description box on this video, you will find a link to um, sign up or buy anything else from Inked Goddess that you might want to. And there's a coupon if you use that link. Um, I do get some referral points, but otherwise everything is the same. So feel free to check that out if you want to. Okay, I can't wait anymore. Let's dive in, dive in. Okay, I'm so excited. The only thing um, I have not opened to this yet, I did take the priority mail wrapper off. And I can tell you that the box, the box itself, even without opening, has a delightful aroma. So I think there's going to be something in here that smells amazing. All right, so let's have a look. So we have the triple moon card, which shows the box theme. I'm going to pull these things off camera here. Um, so it says, the triple moon is a highly revered symbol in the witchy community and is also discreet for those still in the broom closet, representing the waxing, full, and waning moon phases, which correspond to the divine feminine aspects of maiden, mother, and crone. This symbol has so much powerful energy for many of us. This month's box pays respect to the triple moon symbol and its meaning. Oh, <gasps> so excited. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, so first we have this altar card showing that maiden mother crone image. This is beautiful. Um, I really like this. I'm not sure. It feels like it wants to like maybe be... Um, on the cover of a journal or something like that, or in a book of shadows, you know, in addition to, it could obviously be used as an altar card, like displayed um, in a card stand or just even flat or on the wall, but um, it's really beautiful. I like the metallic sheen, super, super gorgeous. Okay, what else do we got? <laughs> ha! Here is what I was smelling, I think. Yep, oh, oh, it smells so good. Triple Moon Blessings Herbal Blend. This is a blend of, I'm going to actually like zoom in a little bit more for you because I feel like we're, there we go. That's better, isn't it? A blend of jasmine willow, sandalwood, eucalyptus, hyssop, rose, and lemon peel to use as an herbal offering, burn incense, or in a pre-moon ritual bath. It says do not use a tea, as tea. A blessing you can say aloud is on the back of this card. Oh, I love that. Okay, so this can absolutely go in the Book of Shadows. And this, oh, it smells so good. I absolutely might use that as a ritual bath. That's amazing. I'm super excited about this because I'm just starting to work with herbs more. So that's awesome. Ooh, this is going to be an altar cloth. So... Inked Goddess has a series of altar cloths that sometimes show up in their boxes. They also have a whole bunch of different ones that you can just purchase individually. And they are all really beautiful. And I love that they are all, um, you know, I think they're about 12 inches square. And they're just really nice for um, for altars or card readings or whatever. I'm going to see if I now, of course, now I'm like, oh, I should zoom out. Let's see if I can. Yeah. I'm sorry. My, I think I've said this before. The kids zoom on the camera. It got an update and got a little crazy. So, okay. This is what it looks like. This is so beautiful. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, the stitching is really nice. It's a nice quality. You can see how putting crystals, cards, anything you want to on here would be gorgeous. I'm just going to leave that right there because it's pretty. Okay. Next up is a triple moon journal. So this says has 80 pa lined pages. So it could be used, it says in on the card, it could be used as a dream journal to keep record of your moon intentions and so much more. Of course you can use it however you want to. Um, 
but it's actually super nice quality. I like the size of it and I like that it has a ribbon. Oh, and it does have an elastic to hold itself closed as well. So very pretty. Next up, we always get a votive candle in the boxes. This is a blend of, it says opium, eucalyptus, bergamo, and jasmine to collect, connect with divine feminine, divine feminine energy in any aspect. That smells really beautiful too. I love um, the Inked Goddess votive candles because they are always kind of unique scent blends that I don't see in other places. Ooh, we have an altar tile. This is, and you can see there's this etched design on it. It matches um, what was on the journal. So super pretty. This is a nice size too. It says um, it's a steel tile, can be used as an offering plate, candle plate, and more. Really nice. I'm always impressed by how much I get in these boxes for the price. This box is $32 US, including shipping. And you can see, I feel like I've already pulled out that much stuff or more. Okay, so now we have, I'm gonna pull it out of the little baggie, a triple moon pentacle gemstone point necklace. See which gemstone chose you this month, it says. Mm, okay, so they're different then. Okay, this is very pretty. And I am not sure. This looks like, it feels like a howlite, but it has this um, yellow coloring in it, which I'm not used to seeing. And I work with crystals a lot, so I'm, I'm going to have to do some investigating on, on what stone this is. But it's super pretty, and it's different than anything else I have, both in the style here and just this stone. So I really like this a lot. And again, it's $32 for the whole box, you guys. I feel like this necklace alone at a metaphysical shop would be like 20 right? So pretty. Um, and it does say, and I think it's nice that this was included, that this can be used, of course, as a pendulum or protective car charm if jewelry isn't your thing. And actually, I can tell you already, as soon as I read that, like I, I can tell this wants to be a pendulum. Um, I love working with pendulum magic um, or just pendulum dowsing, right? I don't know if I need to say the word magic there, but I love working with pendulums and they're just so powerful for me. And so actually I think this could be a necklace and a pendulum. I like to have a necklace on that can be used as one when I go out. So win in all categories. Okay. And then finally we have, um, as all inked goddess boxes have our expansion cards for the eclectic witch, um, deck. So there are four of them in this box and I'll show you those and then I'm going to show you the deck in case you haven't seen that yet. So of course we have a card for the triple moon and then unsurprisingly we have, I'll just put them, I like them in this order, we have a card for the maiden, a card for the mother, and a card for the crone. So the Eclectic Witch deck is a super unique um, deck that you can only get at Ain't God's Creations. It comes in this bag and then you get all these cards. And I need to be clear, you don't get all of these cards when you buy the starter deck. The starter deck has in it, and these are all mixed together, so I apologize, but you're gonna get like some basic cards about the elements, color magic. Um, I love these morning elemental affirmations. So I've been using this card, um, moon phases, etc. And then in each box and as add-ons, you can get these extra cards that come, like this was from the Yule set. They have ones for different Sabbaths. Um, this was from the December box. So it's really cool that you can put all these things together um, to get this really awesome deck just that can serve you as you're learning and remembering what you're learning. So each box has you know, these things that you can use. Like, I love that there's an altar cloth here and the card and the 
the candle plate and the herbs, etc. But in addition to having all these just pretty things, you get these cards that then help you create practical things from um, from using the tools and just to remember like what you're learning, right? And create it, um, add it to a place where you can access that information later. Because sometimes we, you know, might just put away some pretty things and forget that they have meaning and power and intention behind them. And that's why we like them. So the deck really helps ground in those lessons and can also be a great way to, you can use this as an oracle, like what lesson do I need today? You know, what should I practice? Or you can just use it as like a reference. Like this becomes its own kind of reference book on magic. And then you can also buy um, single expansion packs. Like this is the one for in bulk. I haven't opened it yet, but we just had in bulk on February 1st and 2nd, um, which is the holiday for um, Brigitte's day or of course um, midwinter. And you can get you know, different, um, I have a bunch of them sitting up here that I just ordered as well. So like here are some cooking magic cards. So I'll be opening all of those later, not in this video right now, but you can get extra packs on, um, on their website as well as the base deck. And if you do subscribe to the box, I definitely recommend at least purchasing the base deck so that you have a place to put all of your cards as they come in. So, um, I am not sure. Okay, I did mention, yes, it's a $32, including shipping. I love this deck. Oh, this was the other thing in the box, of course. Um, this is the um, early access to next month's theme, which is the element of air. And it says first of four in 2021. So they're going to be doing, I think, a box um, for each element throughout the year, which is awesome because that will be great. And I'm so excited. So I really, I just, I love, I love this box. I know I just said that. I want to emphasize like part of why I love it is the practicality and there's so much creativity in the boxes. And of course, as you know, at Determined to Shine, we use the magic formula of creativity, spiritual connection, and community to bring forth joy in our lives. We have the creativity in the items and how we can use them. We have all of these things that are designed to draw us in spiritually and connect to the, um, you know, our higher selves as well as the deities around us and the things that matter. And then of course there's an awesome Facebook group for, um, ink goddess customers that I love. So shout out to all of you. So yeah, that is the Inked Goddess box for the month. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked this content, please be sure to subscribe. And again, be sure to check out that other video that I posted yesterday so you can see how to win a copy of Pamela Chen's new tarot deck, if that's your thing. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this box, et cetera, et cetera. And um, yeah, that's what I have for you so far today. So have a great one. Remember, of course, of course, of course, that you are loved, you are cherished. There is a place for you in this world, and I am so thrilled that you are in it, and I am so thrilled that you are here watching today. So sending you so very much love. Remember, the darkness is temporary. The sun is coming out tomorrow, my friends. Have an amazing day, and I will see you soon.